Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Lamy Vlogs a week on to when you last saw me. So, the A flock, they're all done, but now it's time for the B flock. Today is Sunday, the 17th of March, and today is due day. And we may have got that quite right because behind me, we've just had a single born and currently we have a triplet lambing. So guys, we're into it again. Let's get going for another three weeks of lambing. Guys, I hope you enjoy. Massive thank you for the support throughout the whole of the AFOC. Now let's smash it and get this next lot done too. <laughs> what a way to start, girly. So we have 224 for everyone that's watched the channel for a while. Absolute famous sheep. This is the lad Tepper, one of the mates from Uni's sheep. Uh, but we're going to crack into it because some legs out. I came very well prepared. Bloody hell, this is a big triplet. There we are. There we are. Big one, big one. Going backwards. Straight out. Right, you know I mean? Yeah, you're all right. Good Lammy, good Lammy. This is good. Good girl, 224. Yeah. Now, there's a little tiny thing here. Let's get another one out. You right, Lammy? You right, Lammy? What a shame. Head. Oh, this one's coming the right way. Good girl, good girl. Get this out, get this out. Good girl. Yep, you're alive too. Two live lambs. No. Sadly, that one died. Really unfortunate there. You got two really nice lambs. They are colossal triplets. They are huge. They are, you can have three singles like that. And they have literally had not a lot of grub outside. But she's hollow. She got two live ones. Unfortunately, one was stillborn. Uh, she was struggling lambing, but yeah. What the problem I think is all three were trying to come up once. Uh, that was backwards, the first one we pulled out. So there's the second one. And the third one behind it was forwards, but she got two live ones, so we'll concentrate on them. Lovely, lovely lambs. Her heads are up. She's licking them. 224 knows what she's doing. Um, the only thing is, if I remember from Lamin's past, we have kept her, but she's got a problem with one one and a quarter, so we'll get on to that when we pen her up. While she's been doing that, we have a single over here. Just to give you a background for those people that are joining and thinking why are these lambs suddenly coming out multicolored, well, black and white, it's because this is the bee flock. The B flock is a commercial flock they use. These are all still clean use, apart from an odd Rusan cross, which we experiment a couple of years ago. And these are all going to a Suffolk or Abba Black Top. So a Suffolk, very traditional native bred uh, British breed. We've gone down more than New Zealand route, so I'll put a photo there. And then the second top that we've used on these is called an Abba Black. So an Abba Black is an Innovis breed, which is a hybrid. I'll put a picture of that there. And as we go through these vlogs, I'll show you the differences as we've got lambs out of both. But this is the single that's literally just been born to. Really nice. You see, blacky brown head. That's the mum there, not that one. Really nice, big, strong, single lamb. That is definitely the second group used underway. Two lambed on the day they're meant to, first thing in the morning. So great signs. We get these all penned up. Um, it's just unfortunate we lost one of those lambs. The one thing is, it's a triplet that's lost one, rather than a single or a twin. I'm unsure to if they're Abba Blacks or Suffolks right now. I assume the Suffolks would just come out black. So I assume 
these are our blacks because they look very similar to what the other blacks did last year. Slight problem, 224 is lacking a little bit of milk and probably just hasn't quite dropped yet. So we're going to chew these lambs. And that works quite well because someone asked me if I could do a detailed bit on tubing lambs because some people aren't as confident. I know what it's like when I started, it's one of those things you're quite scared, but it's really important to get that colostrum into the lamb's belly. So one sec, I'll get the stuff and we'll talk through it. Just like magic, we have colostrum and a tube. This is a trusty tube, you can get loads of different tubes. These are just the ones that I like. Then really, really important colostrum. The most important thing you need to get to a lamb as quick as they're born. So you really need to be hot on checking those bags, making sure they've got colostrum, because it is the immunity for that lamb in the first few days of life. Oh, nice and mucky, aren't you, mate? So, we have a lamb. I put it over my leg, and put my leg on a hurdle to make it easier, just lent over, so I don't have to worry about holding the lamb at the same time. I open the lamb's mouth up, so I just squeeze each side of its mouth like that, and the tube goes down the lamb's a left hand side that's so when you're looking at me this side of the lamb because that's the side that's stuck so you just feed that down and naturally the lamb will just swallow it you don't have to force it down if you have to force it at all that's probably going down the airways just gently slide it down slide it down and this is going down into the lamb's stomach might wriggle a little bit but it's all okay especially if you got over your leg it's really easy so then what we want is 120 ml of colostrum, which is normally what I give to a lamb if I ever do it. So it's on the side of this measure, so up to 120, just like that. And this is why I like this one too, because it naturally drops into the stomach of the lamb then. I'm not forcing it in, like you can get some syringes where you pump it into the stomach, but this, it naturally just drops down into the lamb's stomach. I'm not doing anything to force it. It's going nicely down and filling that lamb's belly up and giving it all that goodness that you get out of the colostrum. So now, that's the last of the milk just dropping down, lifting it out slowly, pulling, just like that, and it easily just eases out. So the key things when we're doing this, we're trying to get it down the left-hand side of the lamb. So if you look at the lamb, that's the left. If I'm pointing the lamb at you, it's my right hand, this side of the lamb. That is the side that the stomach is, and it'll naturally, naturally swallow it. If you do it down the wrong side and you push it and force it, that's normally when you end up with problems. If you're gentle, it'll go down easily and naturally. And yeah, that's that lamb done. So you can go back to your mom. It's quite interesting because it's one of the most asked questions I get with sheep because not many people are confident with tubing. And it is risky, like if it goes wrong you could kill the lamb, so you've got to be really careful. And the main thing has been steady with it and not rushing. You're good, aren't you? You're sitting patiently. Good girl, Joe. Good girl. Right, quick change of plan. Um, obviously, I was going to show you the use of lambs there. We'll be back, but I've got a ewe that I think might have grass staggered. So, quick emergency. We've got to get back and get some cows ejected into it as fast as possible. Right, we're in a bit of a rush now. I've just popped to the farm next door. As we do have a ewe here with grass staggers. If you don't know what grass staggers is, it's basically a deficiency of magnesium. Um, we've got to do this quick and explain exactly what's going on afterwards. I've just got to 
get as much magnesium into this shoe as fast as possible. It's going under the skin. It's yeah, 75 mil. Um, I'm very lucky that the farmer next door has this. Good girl. She's having a fit basically because she hasn't got enough in her body. So we're just going to put this under the skin. And hopefully this is the crop up. And I love that. Good girl, good girl, good girl. As you see, she's fitted and she's slightly gone. She's a bit of tall. Right, we need to do this as quick as possible. Yeah, Robin. Whilst we're doing this, the sheep are escaping from the field because I left the gate open in the rush. But they'll be alright. You're gonna be okay, girl. Gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. What I've done, I've given about 100 ml of magnesium dilutant. Fingers crossed. We just need to give her time round. We have just got to give her time now, and she'll come round. I'm just going to give her a little bit of Metacam too for any pain and swelling that might have been caused in this. So obviously a complete quick change of plan. Hopefully you saw a nice shot there of all the lambs, but I'm not going to show you now walking around. We'll get to that another day. But get the shoe back. We've given her the dose she needs of magnesium. She's not responding as quickly as we'd like, so. We've been advised now to get her some calcium and do the same with it. So hopefully, by giving them both, she'll become a bit more responsive. She's swallowing it. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh yeah, she is. Oh, that's a good sign, sure. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> So she's definitely getting a bit more responsive, which is good. So hopefully one of the two things we're giving her is going to help. But yeah, we'll take her back to the farm and then um, see if the vet says we should try anything else too. She wants to go for a walk. She caught the sheep. <laughs> well, she didn't. Just, it was already like that. Could this day get any more dramatic? We've got two lambs here when we've got back, both with just heads out. Come on, mate. Oh, Big lamb. It's huge. Come on. I just need a leg. It's coming. It's coming. Bloody hell, it's huge. Oh, this leg, sorry. I reckon it's... Oh, it's crossed with thunder. I wonder if it's a suffer crowd. It's coming, isn't it, Al? I don't think so. No. <sighs> Fucking hell. They're dead. What a bloody waterproof. <laughs> Is she a single or a twin? These are all singles. Oh, sorry. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Right. That one. Both the heads were out. This one took a breath. And I wanted to get that one out quick because so it was smaller. Quickly got that out. Now back to this one. Right, underneath, just, you need a second leg else so it won't come. Yep. It's just huge. Hey, Bubba. <laughs> Sorry, no, not yet, but Ellie was closer. <laughs> but what, what we needed though, we needed another set of hands, but Will ended up getting that one out while I just stayed here for a minute. You say, that's the first thing he says. So, have you got your phone on yet? Yes, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. You got it. Well, I've got a shoulder through, so it should cover. There, no, it's going, yeah. it's going now. Yeah. Well done, Annie. I'm not getting more than a shoulder, but it's done the job. Shoot. Ah, all right, all right, all right. It's all right. Blooming neck. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh. Mm. No. Good girl. I can't feel my face moving now. That was tight. Good girl. Mm. Both. Well, just like that, the dramatic day continues. So we've got two lovely singles, which are now up and suckling. I've spoken a bit more to the vet, and just precautionary, we have given 
we've given the ewe a dose of antibiotics too because she thought if it's not staggers it could be listeria too um usually with staggers it recover really fast but that could be down to why she's not reactive when you touch her in the eye but when you touch her in the body she's quite sensitive so fingers crossed she said it'll take about 36 hours for it to properly uh, kick in and um, do its thing so it's going to give her time we bought her inside propped her up against the bell so she can breathe nicely um, yeah I think get those ewes obviously penned up and we need to go get those ewes outside actually moved if we're lucky these girls may come straight through this gateway because they're all going to know so they want to be fed uh, what we don't want is all these ladies going back in there want that field clear for the Abba Blacks and the Suffolks we are keeping them separate because obviously there's a month between them and they'll be like batches these will obviously get hets back and stuff the cleans that is and then the Abba Blacks and Suffolks a month later just to make it easy we don't want them all mixed up because you've got them all in a race you're then trying to shed stuff off it's just easy to keep them separate Well, where were we before we had those manic couple of hours? Looking at how these lambs are coming on. I do apologize. Do apologize about the wind, but that is England. And it was also a bit wet, but the sun's been out. Absolutely. Can't do that, so can't get some less wind. The sun is out, it's been a drying day. It's gonna take a lot of drying from the rain we've had in the last week, but I'll get some shots now of these lambs to show you how well they're growing. Oh,